Hello, hello, my dear health seeker. Inga from Health Origins here. So today I've got a super exciting recipe that I'm going to be trying for the first time as well. And it is um, chocolate donut um, batter that I'm going to be putting into my egg Easter egg molds. So fingers crossed it works because I need those eggs today to take to my parents-in-law. So let's begin. Here I got the ingredients. So these are my dry ingredients and these are my wet ingredients. Um, and I'm doubling this recipe, so original recipe I'm using is from Caitlin Shoemaker. Um, so all credit to her. So fingers crossed, like I said, that this recipe works. Um, and yeah, the only substitution I had to make was instead of flax eggs, I had to use chia eggs because my flax... Um, you know, ground flax some, for some reason, it did not... Um, like become eggy um, it was just kind of more watery so that's the only substitution I made so let's start with dry ingredients so I've got two and a half cups of oats uh, milled into flour so I just took porridge oats and milled that into flour I um, will experiment making it with a whole grain finer um, softer varieties of wheat to make it as well and see what's the difference but this time is um, oats so two and a half cups of oats one cup of coconut sugar and um, I think you could probably because coconut sugar is quite pricey it's got this nice caramelly uh, flavor though um, but I think you could make it with just rapadura sugar you know the cane juice um, sugar um, and I think it sh should still be quite good. Then I've got one, um, no, sorry, half a cup of cocoa powder. Yeah, half a cup of cocoa powder here. So this is my dry ingredients. In fact, I'm just gonna go and get a little pinch of salt uh, because I like to put a little bit of salt because it brings out the sweetness in, um, in baked goods. So just adding a pinch of salt in here and then I'm going to mix it up until it's even and has no clumps. Right, well that looks quite good now. As you can see, it's pretty even. So I'm going to Actually, sorry, I forgot the uh, bicarb soda and baking powder. So I've got a teaspoon of each. Uh, and you need both, actually, for this recipe. So I'm adding those and we'll mix those in. Otherwise, our eggs will not rise. So that looks good now. I'm going to put this to one side and concentrate on uh, wet ingredients. So I've got two cups of soy milk, but you could use any plant milk. <clears throat> I've got um, two tablespoons of um, apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Um, I've got my four chia eggs, and all it is is just um, for one chia egg, basically, you need one um, tablespoon of ground chia seed um, mixed with about four tablespoons, three to four tablespoons of water. Um, so that, and then I've got freshly made uh, almond butter that I've just made myself in the food processor. Um, I didn't roast the nuts and I think if I did it would have been much quicker because it took me about 15 minutes to get it to this butter consistency. So all I did was I put the um, raw nuts in a food processor and just kept on blending, kept on wiping the sides 
um, and kept on stopping to let the motor rest because it was it did overheat at one point um, and it shut off so I, I let it cool for a couple more minutes and continued so yeah so if you roast your almonds um, it should you should probably get butter within 10 minutes or so because it, it's a little bit quicker so I'm gonna add half uh, sorry a cup because this is a double recipe so a cup of this almond butter but any nut butter or even sunflower seed butter should probably work so so yeah and then I'm gonna just whisk it all together so that's all wet ingredients here So I think this is pretty good now. It's looking pretty uniform. So now we need to mix our dry ingredients with the wet. So I'm going to make a little well um, in here and then just pour the wet ingredients in. And now we're going to mix. So now we have a pretty uniform batter and um, my oven is preheating by the way um, on 175 degrees um, Celsius and I'm going to be filling these egg molds until they are level and hopefully the batter will rise enough to give us that nice rounded egg shape or at least approximately anyway we'll see how much they will rise and now since I've got more batter I filled in the uh, I wish I had two of these molds but since I've got more batter I'm gonna just make some cupcakes as well chocolate cupcakes so yeah I'm really excited if this egg um, chocolate egg mold donut treat works out this is gonna be my go-to Easter tradition to bake the uh, the eggs that way because like I've mentioned to you guys in my previous um, videos on my health origins channel um, that's one thing I was really missing when going vegan is this Easter tradition that we used to dye actual hen eggs um, and you know have competitions playing with them have um, eat them obviously um, have uh, some games rolling them have some games whose shell is the strongest um, and and so on it was really actually great time you know especially us when we were younger and kids and it's still um i thought it's such a lovely tradition so i was kind of missing it i must admit but um if this works then i'll be really really happy that um i found some other tradition that we can carry on um going forward so it was just perfect actually for my 12 um, cupcake cases here. So I'm going to be putting both of these in the oven for about 25 minutes. And now I'll, I'll see, it might need, you know, 10 more minutes because my oven is, is quite strange. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed these eggs work out and uh, they rise quite a bit. So it, they'll be a little bit more of an egg shape. So there we go. I'm happy to report that I think experiment has worked out. I still need to take them out of the molds. So I've, I've um, kind of wiggled the um, mold, silicon mold, a little bit from the sides after a couple of minutes. So I took them out of the oven. It actually, because because this is deeper and it's not small, uh, round uh, silicon shapes for donuts, I've um, actually ended up 
um, baking them for 40 minutes or 15 minutes longer and obviously you've got deeper here with the muffin too so I've baked them for 40 minutes and then you know put them on the uh, counter um, and let them sit for like two three minutes now I'm just wiggling the edges of um, you know of the molds and then let them cool down even more and once they have completely cooled down um, I'm gonna cover this side I'm gonna take them out of the mold cover this side with chocolate dip it in chocolate and then on the other side I've got my um, icing ready so I've got Lithuanian flag here so yellow green and red or red green and, and yellow so so that's what um, that's what I'm gonna do so I'll show you the results in a bit so it's been rather successful actually the eggs worked quite well they have split a little bit um, at the top so perhaps I'll put a little bit less heat in my oven so instead of 175 I'll put 170 or maybe 165 and see if if you know if they rise slower that's not gonna happen maybe but the good thing is I'm gonna be covering the underside with chocolate like I've done with this one already so basically all I did is you know went with my yellow glaze along the the lines and I'm gonna do the same for the second and the third so I've got green and red um, dyes here and the way I've done the icing and um, so I just basically used uh, p white powdered sugar so you know I've had like some just white granulated sugar I've you know I blended in in my uh, spice grinder myself um, and to about four tablespoons or four and a half table sorry three and a half tablespoons of icing sugar I put one tablespoon of lime juice you can put lemon juice and that's it and it becomes like like a paste here and then I've, I've added um, some red dye like a paste green paste and I didn't have yellow but I put some turmeric powder in that one for yellow color and it worked great for color except that I can actually taste um, the turmeric a little bit so if you're not a fan you might want to get yellow dye for this as well edible yellow dye so yeah and then you you just color your eggs how you want whatever shape you've got you just color the lines or color the patterns with whatever um, you know I've took um, a little like brushes and then you just cover what you want with the icing and let it set and then um, what I do then so I just pick up once the icing has dried on I pick up the egg and just cover the other side with chocolate with the I've got this brush you could dip it as well I guess uh, but this chocolate is quite thick um, and I think I, I'll get it covered a little bit more even this way so you just paint it on basically and that covers that um, you know those breaking points that you could you, you've seen so that will actually cover a bit of that which is great so yeah just paint the underside of chocolate with chocolate sorry and just let that set and then what I've done with the muffins so I've just gone with the um, icing and basically applied different color icing to to different um, um, muffins or um, if you call it um, what do you call these Not fairy cakes I forgot the name now I'm sure it'll come to me so anyway so you just paint cupcakes there you go so you just paint whatever color icing you want in a thickish layer so I'm going for a Lithuanian flag like I said yellow green and red so I'm kind of coloring the um, the cupcakes different colors and it's nice as Easter is colorful 
Um, I think these are beautiful colours anyway, whether Lithuanian flag or not. So, so yeah, just colour it and that's it. And then the same with green and the same with yellow or whatever colours you go for. So here we go. Actually, the eggs really worked. So I've got the um, one side chocolate glazed and one side kind of um, iced in Lithuanian colours and we had a bit of a bite of our um, muffins so the muffins are looking um, great as well so there's different colours yellow red and there's green can't see that it's green but it is <laughs> um, so yeah it worked guys um, the other experiment I want to do is to put some um, yellow marzipan in the center of this egg before I bake it so that it actually when you bite into it you'll get that marzipan it'll be like an egg right so so that's my next experiment but yeah I'm, I'm really chuffed that it worked and it'll probably become our um, yearly tradition at Easter so we'll be baking our chocolate donut eggs and icing and coating them in chocolate. So let me know if you try this, if it works out for you, if you did any substitutions or different glazes you tried, let me know how it worked out for you. If you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, you can put suggestions what other videos you'd like to see from me um, here at Health Origins. Um, hit that bell button so you get notified of my next videos. Give me the like if you like this video. And remember, food is fuel, so be mindful of what you put in your body. Until next time, guys. See you.